Hi Space Cats, I'm Dr Maggie Lou. welcome back to my channel. Gas giant planets, like Jupiter and Saturn, are unlikely to host life as we know it. They are huge balls of gas with practically no surface. The extremely high pressures and temperatures deep inside the planet would crush and vaporise everything that approaches the core. But would it be possible one day for life to survive there? This week's video is all about that, so let's begin. In 1995, Michel Mayer and Didier Killaz discovered the first exoplanet. They even won a Nobel Prize for it in 2019. Pegasi 51b was a hot Jupiter planet, the most common type discoverable by the radial velocity method where Doppler shifts of the star's spectrum is observed due to the wobbling of the star caused by the huge gravitational pull the planet has on the star. Hot Jupiter planets are a type of gas giant planet like Jupiter and Saturn. However, they are found much closer to the parent star. Despite not having anything similar in our own solar system, they are actually very common in our galaxy. Generally, when it comes to exoplanets, gas giants tend not to be so interesting. We get more excited when we discover Earth-like planets. This is because the only life that we know of so far has been found on Earth. Gas giants are unlikely to host life as we know it because they're just big balls of gas. There's no surface. While all known gas giants are believed to have a solid rocky or metallic core, but that's just because the ginormous pressures and intense temperatures, many, many times hotter than the surface of the sun, as you approach the center, these gases are crushed into a solidified form. With our current technology, no spacecraft would last long upon entry of a gas giant's atmosphere without being completely obliterated. NASA's Galileo satellite penetrated just 200 kilometers of Jupiter's atmosphere before it was vaporized. In comparison, the atmosphere of Earth is known to be extend out of about 10,000 kilometers from sea level. So life like we know it would certainly not be able to survive on a gas giant. And that's why we're interested in more of the icy moons around gas giants, which potentially could host life. But let's say that we took away the atmosphere on a gas giant planet. Do such planets exist? And would such planets be able to host life? For example, if a nearby supernova went off, the winds of that explosion could reach 10% of the speed of light and could easily strip away the atmosphere of a nearby gas giant. However, that explosion would have to occur within about 50 light years distance. Alternatively, when the star, such as our own sun, enters its red giant phase, the increased radiation would slowly erode away the atmosphere of gas giant planets like Jupiter and Saturn. But for the atmosphere to completely disappear, it would take billions of years. As we know, hot Jupiters exist very close to their host stars. It's possible they are evaporating but still have an atmosphere intact. We also know of a Jupiter-like planet that is orbiting a white dwarf, the end result of a star like our Sun after its red giant phase. And this example means that it's possible for gas giants to survive the expansion of a dying star. But if you were to remove the hydrogen and helium atmosphere of a gas giant known as the hydrodynamic escape, you would hypothetically be left with a rocky or metallic core that resembles a terrestrial planet. These hypothetical objects are called chthonium planets. These would explain why we don't have massive planets very close to uh, the host stars. And whilst none have yet been confirmed, there are many argued candidate exoplanets that fit the bill. These planets would be super dense after losing their atmosphere and could then migrate in towards the star. Corot 7b was the first exoplanet found that could be Chthonian. It orbits its star every 20 hours. However, the age of this stellar system is probably too young for it to migrate so close to the star and have its atmosphere stripped away. Similar arguments exist for the case of our planet Mercury being a Chthonian planet. 
Without an atmosphere, it's unlikely that Chthonian planets harbour life. However, in about 5 billion years from now, when the sun goes red giant, the zone of habitability will move out towards the orbits of Jupiter and Saturn. Whilst a lot of focus in recent years has been on exploring the icy moons of these gas giants, we might need to start investigating whether a Chthonium Jupiter would actually make a better future home. That's all for this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.